Hello and good morning. Welcome back to our English Line class. How are you? I hope that everyone is safe and well. Thanks so much for joining me today as we explore our wonderful world using the English language. I'm Mr. Len Eriquil, your English Line teacher discussant and co-adventurer as we take a journey through Anglo-American literature. I'm pretty sure you'll learn new things which you can apply in the real world outside the classroom. What is your opinion on this quotation? We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. By Winston S. Churchill. Time's up. Thank you for your answer. A simple gift of generosity has the power to greatly impact and brighten the life of another person. You can do this even in the simplest ways like donating to victims of typhoon or debt without posting it on social media. Volunteering on relief operations after disaster situations. Or just by being genuinely friendly to people around you. If you focus on giving, your worldview transforms to seeing it as full of love and beauty. Let's start the ball rolling and discussing this week's lesson. The most essential learning competency is analyze literature as a means of understanding unchanging values in the VUCA world. Our vocabulary booster for today is the word unpredictability. According to Oxford Learner's Dictionary, unpredictability is an uncountable noun. Unpredictability means the quality something has when it is impossible to know in advance that it will happen or what it will be like. Let's use the word unpredictability in a sentence. The only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. By Remy via Ratatouille. Analyze the following illustration. What can you say about this illustration? Time is up. Thank you for your answer. If you answer that the image is about the variants of the SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, then you are definitely correct. Indeed, there are now five variants of concern according to the World Health Organization, with the current Omicron variant being highly transmissible. All health officials and researchers around the world are put on high alert as they make sense of its potential implications for the ongoing global pandemic. Can we predict when this global pandemic will end? I bet no one can. Thus, the current situation is unpredictable and the ongoing pandemic is known for its unpredictability. You guys did a fantastic job in analyzing the illustration. Let us now discuss today's lesson, analyzing literature as a means of understanding unchanging values in the VUCA world. The unpredictability of the ongoing pandemic is one of the challenges we face in the VUCA world where we live. VUCA is both an acronym and an abbreviation. It was entered in Macmillan Dictionary in 2017. What is VUCA? The United States Army War College was one of the first organizations to use the VUCA acronym following the 9-11 terrorist attacks in 2001. 
Military planners were worried about the radically different and unfamiliar international security environment that had emerged, so they used VUCA to describe it. VUCA stands for Volatile, Uncertain, Complex, and Ambiguous. Volatile means change is rapid and unpredictable in its nature and extent. Uncertain means the present is unclear and the future is uncertain. Complex means many different interconnected factors come into play, with the potential to cause chaos and confusion. Ambiguous means there is a lack of clarity or awareness about situations. VUCA world is a term drawn from the leadership theories of Warren Bennis and Bert Nanus in 1985. Here are examples of VUCA world situations. Volatile, the speed of change in an industry, market, or world in general. Cash transactions to cashless, point of sales, QR transfers, and many more. Uncertain, the end of global health pandemic is uncertain and unpredictable. Complex. The pandemic is affecting all aspects of life, including healthcare, business, the economy, and social life in complex ways. Ambiguous. Globalization can reap benefits due to expansion or losses due to inability. Let us now have a quick activity on analyzing VUCA world situations. Directions. Identify the VUCA situation in each item. The pandemic affects not only our physical, work, and social lives, but also our mental health and family relationships. Time is up. If your answer is complex, you are definitely correct. The pandemic has caused complex factors that resulted in strained relationships and professional lives leading to chaos and confusion. Number 2. Changes due to COVID-19 are taking place every day. Time is up. If your answer is volatile, that's wonderful. It is true that the pandemic creates change in our daily lives. At present, NCR is back to alert level 3 until January 15. We don't know what will happen after that time. Number 3. There is no best practice that organizations can follow to manage the challenges caused by the pandemic. Time is up. If your answer is ambiguous, you are amazing. At the moment, all best practices in the business sector are from pre-pandemic times. Due to changes that happen every day, pandemic best practices on businesses are not yet considered foolproof. Number 4. No one can predict with confidence when the pandemic will end or when we will have a definitive cure. Time is up. If your answer is uncertain, that's fantastic. Even the best scientists cannot predict confidently when the pandemic will end. The vaccines currently available give us short-term immunity only. Also, the new SARS-CoV-2 variants are popping up every now and then and infecting many people even if they are vaccinated. Great job, everybody! You guys were awesome in answering the activity. Let us now analyze literature as a means of understanding unchanging values in the VUCA world. The poem is entitled, When I Was One and Twenty by A. E. Hausman. Here are the comprehension questions. Number one. 
What advice was given by the wise man or sage to the young speaker in the first stanza? Number two, why did the wise man tell the young speaker not to fall in love? Number three, did the young man heed the advice of the wise man? Explain your answer. Number four, what is the theme of the poem? Number five, what do you think is the VUCA situation in the poem When I Was 1 and 20 by A.E. Hausman and why? Let me go ahead and read the poem. When I Was 1 and 20 by A.E. Hausman When I was 1 and 20, I heard a wise man say, Give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not your heart away. Give pearls away and rubies, but keep your fancy free. But I was one and twenty, no use to talk to me. When I was one and twenty, I heard him say again, The heart out of the bosom was never given in vain. Tis paid with sighs aplenty and sold for endless rue. And I am two and twenty, and oh, tis true, tis true. There you go. Let us now answer the comprehension questions. Number one. What advice was given by the wise man or sage to the young speaker in the first stanza? Thank you for your answer. The first stanza features a wise man's words meant to give advice regarding the issue of falling in love. The sage advises that the younger men should never give their hearts away, that is, they should guard against falling in love. He tells them that it is fine to give away things such as money but that they must at all costs keep their hearts. Number 2 in the second stanza, why did the wise man tell the young speaker not to fall in love? Time is up. Thank you for answering. It is because giving the heart away is paid with size a plenty, an endless rule which essentially means that he will end up heartbroken. Number 3. Did the young man heed the advice of the wise man? Explain your answer. Time is up. Thank you for answering. This young man, however, simply did not follow the wise man's advice, taking his chances with the future, eventually experiencing a broken heart. Number 4. What is the theme of the poem? Time is up. If you answered love and pain, that's correct. Love is truly a wonderful feeling that ultimately leads to pain and grief. Just like the infamous saying, there is no forever. Number 5. What do you think is the VUCA situation in the poem When I Was 1 and 20 by A.E. Hausman and why? Time is up. If you answered ambiguous, that's wonderful. The young man took a chance with his future even though he was given advice by the wise man on what to do. He then experienced his heart getting broken. Thus, the young man exhibited a lack of clarity or awareness about situations. Great job, everybody! You guys are indeed fast learners! This activity highlighted the importance of developing your reading comprehension skills. According to Zimmerman and Hutchins, Real reading has to do with thinking, learning, and expanding a reader's knowledge and horizons. It has to do with building on past knowledge, mastering new information, and connecting with the minds of those you've never met. So, keep on reading! 
We live in a VUCA world wherein challenges and opportunities are always presented to us. It is then imperative that we maintain certain values for us to be able to cope with the ever-changing times and the uncertain future. Bob Johansen in his 2007 book, Get There Early, Sensing the Future to Compete in the Present, proposes a framework that we can utilize to respond to VUCA hazards called VUCA Prime. VUCA Prime stands for Vision, Understanding, Clarity, and Agility. Counter volatility with vision. Accept and embrace change. Meet uncertainty with understanding. Review and evaluate your performance. React to complexity with clarity. Communicate clearly with people. Fight ambiguity with agility. Promote flexibility, adaptability, and agility. These are the unchanging values needed to counter situations in a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world. Let us now have a quick activity on analyzing VUCA world situations. Directions. Identify the VUCA prime situation in each item. Number 1. Don't resist change. Is it vision, understanding, clarity, or agility? If your answer is vision, you are wonderful. We should accept and embrace change. Number 2. Think and work outside the box to increase knowledge and experience. If your answer is agility, you are amazing! Learning new things and doing things differently can be excellent ways to improve agility, adaptability, and flexibility. Number 3. Clearly expressed communications help to understand your team's or organization's direction. If your answer is clarity, you are fantastic! In complex situations, communicating clearly with people makes them understand you and the results you desire. Number 4. Reflect on the context of the situation. Start from the result and move backward. If your answer is understanding, you are awesome. Reflection helps you understand and develop new ways of thinking and acting in response to Buta's elements. Great job, everybody! You guys were awesome in answering the activity. Since you were able to learn what VUCA stands for and how to counter it with VUCA Prime from our discussion earlier, it is now time to apply what you've learned. Take part in the community effort to positively face the challenges and opportunities that the current VUCA world presents to us. Here is the situation. There is a surge of COVID-19 cases as well as the Omicron variant resulting in alert level 3 status granular lockdown in your community. As the Chief Medical Officer of the Barangay Health Center, you must create an action plan to immediately address the problem. Your solutions will be presented through an action plan entitled Our Mission Save the Barangay's Health and it will be implemented upon approval of the Barangay Council effective immediately. Your goal 
list 5 identified problems causing a surge in positive cases of COVID-19 and the Omicron variant with its respective solutions to effectively address and curb the spread of the virus in the community. Your role, you are the Chief Medical Officer of the Barangay Health Center. Your audience, the people or constituents in your barangay. Situation, address the community spread of COVID-19 and its latest highly transmissible iteration, the Omicron variant. The product, performance and purpose, an action plan to effectively address and curb the surge of COVID-19 in your barangay. The standards and criteria for success, a rubric will be used to assess the action plan. Here is the rubric to guide you in making your action plan. Take note, this is a team output. Send or upload your team's action plan in your respective Google Classroom or send it to me and your respective English teachers as a private message in FB Messenger. The due date is January 18, 2022. Here is a sample output. Let us now have a recap of today's lesson. VUCA stands for Volatile, Uncertain, Complex, and Ambiguous, an acronym coined by the U.S. military and adopted by business to describe the state of the world and the challenges it poses. VUCA world is a term drawn from the leadership theories of Warren Bennis and Bert Nanus in 1985. Bob Yul Hansen in his 2007 book, Get There Early, Sensing the Future to Compete in the Present, proposes a framework that we can utilize to respond to VUCA hazards called VUCA Prime. How do we approach this VUCA scenarios? Counter volatility with vision. Meet uncertainty with understanding. React to complexity with clarity. Fight ambiguity with agility. These unchanging values of vision, understanding, clarity, and agility will allow us to move forward and embrace an uncertain future with an open mind. The poem When I Was One and Twenty by A.E. Hausman is very relatable and it explores how easy it is to make mistakes in one's love life, even when one knows exactly what they should do. It is a short poem made up of two stanzas in which the young speaker talks about the experience of falling in and out of love. At age 21, the speaker was advised by a sage that he should give money or jewelry instead of giving his heart away. The speaker, of course, didn't listen, and by the ripe old age of 22, has come to learn the painful truth of the wise man's words through a broken heart. Thus, the young man exhibited ambiguity or a lack of clarity or awareness about situations which can be countered by the unchanging value of agility, a VUCA prime, to be able to thrive in a VUCA world. Let us all continue reading. As we read many forms of literature, we greatly develop our reading comprehension skills which are essential in the 21st century and beyond. You will have a short quiz about understanding unchanging values in the VUCA world. A quizzes link will be shared in your respective GCs later. As for your homework, it will be shared in your GCs by your respective English teachers. That ends our lesson today on analyzing literature as a means of understanding unchanging values in the VUCA world. All of you were spectacular in answering our learning activities. This is Sir Len, and let's continue to explore our wonderful world 
as we take a journey through Anglo-American literature.